good morning, folks. Today we're watching space weather steal the show in just about every way. This is evident above our heads, beneath our feet, and even on the news screen. Let's get over to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day on our star wasn't without activity, but none of that activity was major. Couple eruptions off the limb, but we're not having any solar flaring above minor C-class flares, and the sunspots have no magnetic complexity, unlikely to fire. But solar flares aside, we will watch the northern incoming sunspot as the filament arch there is very close to the umbra. Could erupt. Well, folks, here's the bigger story. Geomagnetic storms are enduring and even hit level 2 for a good bit yesterday and overnight. In watching the storms and solar wind causation, we've got a point for and against the experts, which is a point against and a point for the observers, for those keeping score. First, not sure why Discover Data is doing its jittery ace impression, but look at the right frame. That speed line spiking up just before the 14th began might actually been a tiny clip of the CME they were expecting. Problem is, they already called the CME hitting in the central bit of data a few hours earlier, and that's just not possible. For you, it's best to note that the smooth shift in blue, which is the telltale sign of a coronal hole and sector boundary, is really what's affecting us rather than a CME. Of course, we'll get no big quakes with such a solar storm stealing the show. Even with some five-pointers yesterday, this was the most interesting and rare of the last day. Space weather stole the spotlight in the news as well, with President Obama ordering assessments and plans on dealing with major solar storms. Everything you've heard about danger to our technological way of life, and even human health, is absolutely true. Every word of it. And with Earth's weakening magnetic field, little stands in the way of a major disaster if the sun decides to fire at us. We'll also get more information on past geomagnetic storm events, which will help craft the perspective. Of course, solar storms mean tropical outbreaks. This area is a few intensifications away from shattering a cyclone record. And that's as Nicole rages on powerfully in the Atlantic, just while a new system even goes on watch south of Mexico, not to mention the post-typhoon that survived to make it across the Pacific back to the west coast. Website members. Not sure if you've noticed the changes to the Yelverton's Lab page, but now when you scroll down past the introductory podcast and the full lab video list, there is a number of focus playlists like on electricity, cosmic rays, magnetohydrodynamics, electric terraforming, and more. The ways which electricity of Earth and the solar system contribute to earthquakes, a complete update on Earth's weakening magnetic field, detailed breakdowns of Mars, a live interview and Q&A with special guests, an official Sapphire update, and more. It's all coming at Observing the Frontier 2017, April 8th and 9th in Albuquerque, and for those who don't know, Book your tickets this month, and you get 60 days free website access if you're not already a member, and you are entered to win a copy of our new book, also coming soon. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.